guys feel so dry, so I'm about to use this matcha eye mask. I have gold ones too from this brand. They're pretty good. I just got these ones, so I don't know if I like them yet. This is like way nicer. You can take them on the go. Wait, I feel like I have them on wrong. Like on the wrong side. Uh, um, excuse me, but they gave me two of the same side. Probably can't even tell because it's like the same thing, but... Now that I look beautiful, let's start the day. Good morning, guys. I am back with the vlogs. I'm really excited because I want to start vlogging right before I move. I move in a couple weeks and I want to be able to document all of that. And then I just want to start vlogging more. I really like to do it and I think I've just been afraid of people watching, like knowing my life, but I'm at the point where I just don't care. If I'm happy, then that's cool. I feel like my voice sounds very deep right now because I just woke up. So yeah. And then, if you know, my last name used to be Barnes. It's now Kiyodini because I'm married. Okay, yeah, so that's exciting. And yeah, I look so pale right now and I don't understand why. Hi. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna drink this giant water and then get back with you later. Okay, don't mind my laundry that I need to put away right here and like all this stuff, but we just got this new weighted blanket for our bed and I got like a cover to put on it. The company has the cover too. They have a bunch of different colors and let me tell you, the sleep that you get if you sleep with a weighted blanket, wow, I'm shocked. This is very wrinkly looking. But yeah, so now I just have this one little blanket on my bed, which we love, but I don't know what to do with my giant comforter. So if anybody has any advice of what I could do with it, because I don't want to put it in like a space bag, which I had originally planned, and then I'm like, wait, that is so stupid because... That's like definitely gonna crush the down in the comforter. So I don't really know how to store it because I don't wanna ruin it, but I also, it's too hot in California to be using a down comforter right now. It's just, and honestly, I love this weighted blanket that I don't even know if I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I wanted to show this new foundation I got from Sephora, the Ilia Serum, S Super Serum Skin Tint Foundation. I don't even think it's supposed to be like a foundation. Yeah, it's supposed to be a serum skin tint. A bunch of my friends told me that it's really good, so I'm going to try it. I've not really worn makeup at all during this entire quarantine. And if I do, I put it on for like a half hour and take it off, but we'll see how long this lasts. I want something lighter like this that I don't feel like I need to take off. I'm going to take this off. Yes. Okay. I'm in shade 11. When I looked at it yesterday, it looks like it might be a little bit light for me, but we'll see. So this is shade 11.
Lighting's a little bit better over here, but let me finish. I'm not using that much. I feel like it's really freaking dewy. But it does look nice. I feel like this is actually pretty. Just looks really dewy, which I'm not sure about. I'm not 100% sure on how I feel about this serum stuff because look at my face. Like, I feel a little bit of oily, but I did put on like my face oil before this, so maybe next time I do it, I'll like put it on wait a little bit because this is. We're getting slippery over here, but okay. I don't want to wear that much today. I'm easing into the makeup game because I just can't be bothered with it anymore. I just can't. And I'm like used to my face without makeup on now. So I feel like if I do real makeup, I'm like, yay. I'm about to do like the most natural. I'm going to do the Fenty Cream Bronzer. Just a little bit. Sorry if this is really dark. I don't know what is wrong with this lighting, but. So I just did the cream bronzer and then I'm gonna do a little bit of the cream blush. Just a little bit of eyebrow gel. Then I'm put it on the, wow. Then I'm going to put on the Too Faced Lip Injection. This is the Maximum Plump, the one that they just came out with. So I have like the normal Extreme Lip Plump and then I just bought the, um, Maximum plump and this one's like pink with shimmer in it, but you can't really see when you put on but I'm trying to wear it a few times just to get My full like opinion on it, but I feel like the original plumps more than the like the maximum plump, but That's just my first impression. I'm gonna give it a chance, but yeah, this is the most makeup I'm wearing today. This is like Okay, sorry. Keep slamming everything around. Um, this is as hard as I'm going to go today. But this is actually cute. My camera makes me look way more pale. It's a cute, natural. She's natural. She's dewy. I mean, let's be real. If I was trying to wear this all day, though, I'm going to need some powder. It's just not going to work. But... Like I said, I'm gonna, next time I try it, I'm not gonna put the face oil on right beforehand. I think that's what did me in. Also, don't judge my dirty towels right there. Let me come into your house and that bitch better be 100% clean, okay? Yeah, so now I wanna show you guys some of the stuff that I've been getting. I've been shopping, I don't know, I'm walking all over the place. I've been recently shopping on Depop and I've gotten some good things so I want to show you that and then I need to figure out what I'm going to get my husband for his birthday. I have no idea and it's like how many days away? Five? Yeah I need to figure it out. So I'm gonna brainstorm on that one, and then, yeah. I wish I had this one's life. Yeah, wow, there's dirty clothes all over my place. You know what, we're moving soon, yeah. See, like, this is cute. Oh, my sleep PJs. We are moving soon, and I've kinda just given up on trying to keep this place clean. 
You know, Tiff? I have you guys balancing on my fan, so let's hope. Because I cannot afford for this camera to fall and break. So, this is the first pair of jeans that I got. Oh, so I don't know if I said this already, but I have been shopping off of Depop, which is like an app like Poshmark. And, but it's like the, the cool thing the kids are doing these days, so I feel like I'm in with the youngins when I shop on there. But, um, okay, so how cute are these? Like, first of all, they're like, you can tell that they've been worn a lot because they're like that perfect, like, honestly, I could sleep in these. That's how comfortable they are. Like, they're just so worn and great. By the way, most of all, I think all the jeans I got are Levi's, except maybe one pair. And all of them were under $50. So this is the first pair. I'm not sure of the style of these. I can look it up, but like, I think, I want to say they're the boyfriend jeans, but wow, let me tell you, these are just winners. So comfortable, gotta love, perfect, I mean, they are in the low rise, kind of low rise, so I don't know if I'd wear these if I'm about to go out and eat like a huge meal because, you know, that's not the vibe. But, super cute. Like, these are like the jeans that I wanted to wear when I was younger and I'd see like the 20 year old girls in like the early 2000s. These are the jeans that they wore. I'm like, oh my God, that's just so cute. Okay, next. I'm sorry, but do I even need to say anything about these pants? Like. Excuse me, Miss Louis Vuitton jeans, but really Urban Outfitter jeans that somebody customized. But I got these off Depop, and I'm assuming that the girl that sold them to me customized them. But like, how freaking cool! And like, they have little cute bedazzles on the pockets like I just think that is the cutest thing ever and these were made for me and like I got these for $35 Kylie Jenner could never let's just say that one and next pair is just like a simple I don't even know if you guys can see my feet but I don't have my glasses on and I'm blind but this is just like a simple skinny jean like junior year of high school jean, but in a good way. First of all, they're super comfortable and they're really cute. Like I like the wash of them a lot. They look kind of worn and faded. And this outfit with like my dark brown flip flops gives me like Abercrombie Hollister vibes, but in a good way. And I actually live for it. I live for it. So that's good. The butt is really cute. These ones too. Okay, then last two pairs are the wedgie fit jeans, which are probably my favorite. I love how they're like baggy casual jeans, but the butt is like the wedgie, you know, that's what they call it because it gives you like a, a cute butt. So they're loose, but they're not saggy. And then I got them in this, wow, I'm out of breath. I'm trying these on. Okay. So I got them in the light wash and then in the darker wash as well. They look pretty much the same. They're just two different washes. But I have a question. What's with jeans not fully going down anymore? Like, are we just capris only? And also, I don't know if I've been cutting off my head this whole time, but like, are we just a capris only? thing now because only one pair of those jeans that I tried on go all the way down. I don't, I don't understand. Why are we doing this like high water thing? I'm still going to wear them. I don't think it's ugly, but I also don't think it's like the cutest thing either. I think it's cute with like a little pair of heels, but I don't need my daily, my daily drivers to be high waters on me. But like I said, I will still wear them. I'm just kind of confused, you know? And I, I have long shins, so it's kind of like, they're not really ankle, they're more of a capri, which I 
which I'm not really into, but it's fine. And then green corduroys. It probably looks horrible with the green on green, but like how freaking cute are these? There's gonna be so cute in the fall, with like a cool t-shirt and some sneakers or something. I just love. I also got a pair of like dusty bluish gray corduroy pants that are more of like the same fit as those boyfriend jeans that I really liked. And they're like more like boot cut style. And I think those have come in the mail. I just, I'm too lazy to go and get them to try them on right now. So I'll show you guys in a different video, but yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know why I've done all the shopping when I'm not even going anywhere. I have like so many other pairs of pants that I've bought that I've just, oh yeah, I forgot that I got this too. A set from Set Active. Dude, these leggings, I have a bra too. I have no idea where it is, but it's like a one shoulder bra that matches this. And then I just ordered another, um, like a sage green color of their new line that they came out with set. So I'll show you guys that when that comes in. But these are the best leggings. They literally cinch you in so good and their colors are really cute. And I think a bra and legging set, if you buy them together, is only $99. So that's pretty cool. But like, I just have so many pairs of pants that I've gotten since this quarantine that like, excuse me, but I'm not going anywhere where I can wear these pants too. They like go up and they're like all cut out. All these cool clothes, no, nowhere to wear them to, but maybe I'll just start dressing up in my house. Who knows? The rate we're going with how long this is taking, that's probably what's going to be happening. So, okay. My hair is starting to stick to me and I'm turn and die of heat so other things I got these are from Frankie Collective I really love that brand I think they're based out of Toronto but it's like a rework they have like vintage fashion but they rework a lot of clothes too so this is just like a polo wrap shirt and it straps kind of all the way around it's really cute and then I got these two just cotton dresses made out of t-shirts NASCAR I don't know two things about NASCAR but these dresses are very cute. And then, what's this? Then I got this tank top from Free People. This is probably going to be not even cute on camera because it's like all twisted. But Devin always jokes that he can never even tell what my clothes are because they're just like straps and strings and tiny fabrics. But <laughs> it's like a square front sweatery tank top and then the back laces all the way up. And super cute. This is another dress I got from Frankie Collective. This is just like those NASCAR dresses, but um, yeah, how fun is this? So freaking cute. I've worn it with a pair of Air Forces, white Air Forces, and it was adorable. Really cute. I'll show you guys one more thing, and then I'll end this vlog here and post that today. And then I have a shoot in Beverly Hills tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to film tomorrow and get up another vlog. So yeah, I'm sweating my ass off and I literally look like I'm like wet <laughs> from this serum. But honestly, I'd rather that than looking crusty, you know? So I'll show you one more thing that I got. I've been using the Necessaire body wash in sandalwood. They have like a fragrance free a eucalyptus and then the sandalwood but the sandalwood girl if you want to smell rich at a spa being pampered you need the sandalwood body wash I have one in my shower but I got like the refill and so that's that I actually had bought the um, body wash first and I fell in love with it so I went to buy a backup so I didn't run out and I saw that they have this like, um, like value set or whatever that you can buy. I want to say it's $100 for these five products instead of like the $25 for the one body wash. So in this set you get the body wash, you get the body exfoliator, which their packaging is really cute too, which it kind of got me. But this is like an all clean beauty I want to say 
I believe this is sold at Sephora. So you can go on there and look at all the ingredients and stuff. But I believe it's like their clean beauty. Like natural. Yeah, it has a bunch of like vitamins in it and stuff. Okay, anyway, so the scrub. I haven't used this yet because I have one scrub that I'm waiting to run out of. And so I got this. And then I'm trying to hurry because my camera is starting to overheat. So I got the body lotion, the body serum, and then the deodorant. The deodorant, I'm honestly not sure. Like, the deodorant itself is nice, but the sandalwood scent, like, I'm not sure about it, you know? I'm just not sure about it. I don't know if I want to smell like, I love sandalwood, but the pits, I don't know if that's like the freshest smell, you know? But it's here. I don't know. How, it like kind of just smells a little odd. And it's a cream, so I'm not really sure about that. But it came with it, and it's here. So that's cool. I think it's worth it to buy the set because, you know, you get a little bang for your buck. But this body serum, can we talk about it for a second? So I use like a dollop of the lotion, and then I do like four pumps of this body serum and mix it together and put it all over my body, and yo, I am moisturizing, glowing. I mean, come on. The stuff is legit, and it smells really good and clean and fresh, and Devin uses it too, and he really likes it. So I wanted to let you know about what I've been using. If you watch other beauty or, like, YouTube girls, you probably already know what it is because I feel like it's, like, a trendy thing right now. But, yeah. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Hopefully it wasn't too boring, but I just wanted to kind of do an intro because we're going to start vlogging for reals. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini stay-at-home vlog. There will be more vlogs coming in the future, so please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, peace and blessings. I think I already ended this vlog, but I wanted to show you guys my bath from last night. Like, yo, my bath was on another level. I just got out of the shower, don't mind me. The makeup did not last long, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put a clip of my bath from last night so you can see. Yo, I need to do that like once a week because I feel hashtag aligned and balanced after that. So yeah. Okay, now this is the end. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.